Economic growth, or more precisely the growth of GDP, is decelerating. Instead of adapting to this reality by reorganizing our cultural system, our cultural values and social relations, our relationship with technology and the environment, we are out of phase, in conflict, in contradiction between a culture that seeks to accelerate and the reality of the world, which is that of deceleration. Caught up in this contradiction without necessarily perceiving it, we continue to get nowhere fast. Though there are exceptions, a new world is emerging, though still invisible to those who pay it no heed. To discover it, one must leave behind the bland industrial zones on the outskirts of towns, like here in romont sur isère In the heart of this town, which is in constant decline, a new relationship to time and money is being invented, thanks to the creation of a local currency, an initiative of an association of ordinary citizens. Today, I use the mesure system of payment. There's a whole network of shopkeepers in romont sur isère that accepts the mesure. It might be a shoe shop or a delicatessen or whatever. We use this as much as possible to squeeze the banking system a little in our own small way. Having this currency in our hands obliges us to ask questions. And instead of going to the supermarket, I go to the small shops. For me, it's a gesture of activism, that's for sure, because you can't spend it elsewhere. So this will help local farmers and artisans to survive. When they pay in mesure, they feel they're not really paying with money. They're keeping a certain distance away from the financial money point of view. That's how I see it. It's perfectly possible to mix mesure and euros because they're absolutely convertible. In fact, you have to know what kind of world you want to live in. An Amazon employee does the same work as 16 independent bookshops. Just remember that when you buy a book in an independent bookshop and when you pay in mesure, which furthermore is the local currency, it makes a lot of sense. With a local currency, you have to impose criteria. You're not going to buy just anything from anyone. You have to follow the rules, so not any old how and not anywhere, because it's a population catchment area. The economy has eliminated moral questions. But in a way, local currencies bring them back by saying, well, yes, this person providing a service is, to put it as simply as possible, a good guy. What we're going to eat is good. The way it's produced is good. The way it's sold is good. The way he treats his employees is good. And the way he treats his customers is good. And since it's all good, well, we encourage you to go to him. So the interest is that you're relocalizing the economy. There's an automatic effect, simply because the currency note can't be used or spent outside the population catchment area. As a first response, that's what it's for. It effectively relocalizes the economy. It puts the economy back in its rightful place. It's a smaller place and not the first place, but just the fact that we need units of account to allow exchanges. It's like a do-it-yourself approach to the economy, taking things into our own hands. Just in little ways, it's true, but it's a case of small is beautiful. We're taking things in hand from below and deciding what to do. You shouldn't say, yeah, well, I don't know anything about the economy. Apparently, they're screwing us over. No, that's not good. You have to see what's going on and act instead of being passive. Thanks for all the 
carbon you're saving. We can live without it. So very grateful are we. So we say thanks for riding your bike, for making Bristol green. Here is your medal. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm George Ferguson, I'm the Mayor of Bristol. I'm paid in Bristol Pounds, it's a complimentary currency and um, I'm the richest person in Bristol Pounds. <laughs> and uh, Of course it's marginal in terms of the amount of money that's circulated in the city, but it's a way of challenging the, the, the big move to these global companies who are only interested in the huge profits for their shareholders. So, yes, we're open to ideas. We're a test bed for a new way of doing things. I'm offering the city as a laboratory for new ideas. So what we make sure is that growth is beneficial rather than damaging. A relocalized economy is a more resilient economy. In other words, there's much better resistance to external shocks when you've got a solid local economy. On the other side of the Atlantic, Times Square is still the absolute symbol of a society of globalized overconsumption. But this is perhaps just a facade. In upstate New York, people have been experimenting with alternative approaches for over 30 years, the opposite of the logic of economic acceleration. In this alternative America, which is more human but still on the fringes of society, the relocalization of the economy is already underway, inspiring new practices that, since the crisis, are beginning to spread throughout the country because they have proved their worth here on a local scale. In Ithaca we trust, yes, cash money. Ithaca Hours has been here since 1991, so over 20 years. The idea of supporting local businesses is a very important issue, not just within the, the community's economy, but worldwide it is an issue. You're not going to try to fool your neighbors. You're not going to try to manipulate your neighbors for your own gain, because you're part of a community. I don't really know where change comes from. It can come from surprising places. When this food co-op started, it was just people who wanted to avail themselves of good food. We used to have uh, oats that we would keep in a garbage bin and we would take it out and there were no cashiers, people paid for it themselves. And now it's 30 years later and this business is one of the uh, 30 top businesses in Tompkins County in terms of employing people. It employs over 200 people. And what that is trying to do is make living in America human-sized again. Lorraine and Marcellic, your orders are ready in the deli. The food is fair trade, it's natural, it's organic, it's locally produced, it's healthy, it's fresh, and it's ethically produced. One thing we do is we put local products right at eye level on the shelf. Uh, other stores actually make companies pay for that. We give this to our local companies right off the bat. We give them better pricing when we buy from them, and we take lower margin on our local products to help promote and support our local producers. We have 29,000 plus people live in Ithaca, uh, and we have uh, eight and a half thousand members, so almost a third of the people in town are members. We are trying to make our community a better place to live all around for all the members of our community. So not just for the businesses, not just for the farmers, but for the people. At our board, 
is elected, of course, and we also have a nonprofit wing, uh, Green Star Community Projects. We offer a 15% discount to anyone who has uh, uh, any kind of government assistance. So we, we work really hard to make sure that, that everyone in our community has access to, to good, healthy food. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> good. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. There you go, ma'am. I get the feeling that people are beginning to get fed up with the rat race. I think that people are realize that having time with family and time to pursue personal interests is extremely valuable. Breakfast. Oh, where's Kai? Where's Kai? I don't see him. So many to hug before it got dark. Dark. What animal did you hear? A froggy, that's right. Yeah. What's up, bud? What's up? Are you tired? Yeah. Where are the beets, Kai? Where? Show me. There they are. Do you like beets? Yum. Mm. Um, I, I definitely can't claim to have a no-impact life. <laughs> that would be both awesome and terrifying. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in the voluntary simplicity movement. It's not austerity, it's choosing your priorities and choosing what really matters. Um, we have one car, and I, I, we used to have not have a car at all. Um, get by on bike when we can, and, and walking and biking. Also supporting local economies where we live, where we work, keeping that money local. You know, one thing that kind of scares me a little bit about global economies is that what goes into what we consume is out of our control. You know, if we're buying products in China from, from China, they do not have the same health standards for their workers. They don't have the same environmental standards for their uh, production. Sweet, savory, and spicy eggplant dish. Many people in Ithaca have chosen a voluntary simplicity of lifestyle to take back control of their lives and escape from the tyranny of the ever faster, the ever more profitable. To achieve this, they simply decided that time was not necessarily synonymous with money. We forget that time is also a human construct. Other animals are not governed by time. And so, when we equate time with money, we're really just equating two human constructs that, that aren't real. So if humans created the meaning behind time and the meaning behind money, we get to change what the meaning is if we want to. We get to decide what time means. We get to decide what money means. And we get to decide whether or not time and money are really equal. We were founded in 1979. Alternatives started in a car with a cash box. We grew to a card table in the back of the food co-op. And when I started 30 years ago, we were in a very small, rickety office up a number of steps. Alternatives was founded to serve the underserved and to meet unmet needs in our community. At a credit union, you're a member, not a customer. Everyone who banks here owns the credit union. You're Money here is called shares. Those are your shares. We don't have stockholders like banks do. Traditionally, people of modest income just lose their money to fees. We don't charge fees on our transactional accounts. We have been a partner with Ithaca Hours since the start. And we collaborate with local farmers, with local builders. We do business loans for everybody from landlords to beauticians so that we see people who work with us sharing and growing and connecting. 